the possession. So something is getting ready to happen. He joins in. And notice there's something that happens in this text. He joins in the funeral possession. But notice something strange in this text. The woman does not ask Jesus to join in the possession. The woman does not ask Jesus to bring her son back to life. The woman does not tell Jesus, I stand in the need of a miracle. The woman, can I preach a little while, does not ask Jesus to dry the tears from my eyes. The woman really, Elliot, don't ask Jesus to do anything. She's just in the possession on the way to the cemetery with a broken heart and tears in her eyes. And Jesus joins in the possession. Amen. Anytime you can get Jesus to join in your parade, something is getting ready to happen. In verse 13, He's in the possession. The woman's heart is still heavy. In verse 13, and notice what verse 13 says. When the Lord saw her. That's how it starts out. When he saw her. So the first thing we learn from the lesson, the Lord will see you in your sorrows. The Lord saw her. In your sorrows, he sees you. In your trouble, he sees you. In your loneliness, he sees you. The text says, and the Lord saw her. Which means, Vic, when you really look at this, many times, many people were with Jesus, but Jesus saw her. It was many people around Jesus, but Jesus saw her, which meant that Jesus picks her out of the crowd because there were other people around him. But the text says, but Jesus did what? He saw her. His eyes met her eyes. They made contact. Oh, I feel good now. Amen. They made contact. They made eye to eye contact. And when you make eye to eye contact with Jesus, something that is getting ready to happen. And when his eyes met her eyes, Jesus' eyes saw not just a woman crying. But Jesus saw her pains. He could feel her pains. He, and he moved with compassion. And let me tell you something. When Jesus, see your, when Jesus sees your pain, Jesus can look beyond what any medical doctor can do. Jesus can look at your eyes and see your pain. And not only see your pain, but he can feel your pain as well. He sees her. He sees her. Her tears. I, I'm talking to somebody. You've been crying a long time. But let me tell you something. Jesus sees uh, your tears. And let me tell you something. Don't think that your tears uh, don't go unnoticed. Amen. Because when, when, when Jesus sees your tears, others may not see your tears. But when Jesus sees your tears, don't you think that your tears uh, don't go unnoticed. No wonder Psalm that said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And when Jesus sees your tears, then joy is getting ready to take place. He sees her pain. And not only do he see her pain, but the text says he's moved with compassion. I told you what despair was, but let's talk about compassion. Because compassion with Jesus is not just detached, concerned, or kind words. Amen. Now, notice that word. It's not detached, concerned, or kind words. And many times we have compassion on people, but Jesus' compassion is something different. Um, his compassion means he moves um, not just with kind words, uh, but Jesus' compassion means that there is an involvement 
or there's some action that is getting ready to take place. I, I need the Holy Ghost to help me a little while long. And not only does he feel her pain, but when he feels her pain, that means that Jesus is getting ready to be involved.